Hey, this is Russ. <laughs> Welcome to Anything Goes Mondays. Yeah, Mondays we talk about whatever I feel like talking about. And Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays we have e-bike videos. Yes, yeah, so you want to stay tuned this week because we're going to do some e-bike reviews this week. Yeah, I'm hoping that the weather is good for the um, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday time period. I think we should be in the low 60s. You know, here's the thing, you know, whenever I say it's the low 60s or whatever it happens to be, that's the best temperatures. Now, best temperatures usually happen around 2 or 3 o'clock in the afternoon. I don't want to do a video at 2 or 3 o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> By the time I'm done with it all, you know, all of the uh, rush hour traffic is coming in. I don't, I don't want that to happen. So usually I end up going out uh, a couple hours before then. So usually I'm out there by 12, 1 o'clock, something like that. 12 noon is really the, the worst time to go because uh, the sun is directly overhead. You have some bad shadows and everything. If you're into photography, you know that's probably not the best time to shoot anything. <laughs> but uh, I have to go based on weather too because of uh, the e-bike videos. So but I still hope to get something out this week for reviews. Now, um, j just an update for the e-bike stuff, and then we'll go get into what I'm going to talk about today. Um, I mentioned that there are three bikes here already. There's a scooter here already. So uh, <clears throat> what else is coming in? Well, I made the request for the other company. I mentioned that you know one company asked if it's okay to start shipping the product, and I said no. <laughs> I told them yes at this point, so I don't know how long it'll take them to get that product here. I would say within a week and a half, two weeks, I should have that product coming in. And also another company is shipping their product within another week or so too. So after these reviews are done, um, we'll have at least two more bikes coming in. And I think two other companies that I mentioned that I was interested in doing something with them they'll be sending theirs in after that. So yeah, there's a number of e-bike reviews coming up, so you wanna stay tuned for those. Okay, so what are we gonna talk about this Monday? Well, I'm recording this on Friday. Uh, I usually try to do my Monday review, um, well, not reviews, but my, my, my Monday videos by Friday because as you know, Saturdays and Sundays, I try to leave that for family days. And I got to have the video out on Monday morning. All of my uh, all of my reviews, <laughs> all of my videos. I'm thinking these reviews. All of my videos usually come out at 6 a.m. Uh, Central Time, so that you know. Okay. Now people don't realize I don't I don't sit there and then hit the button at 6 a.m. <laughs> it's uploaded, and then YouTube will automatically release it at the time that I specify. So I usually tell them 6 a.m. and that's when it comes out. Okay. So uh, here it is Friday, and I wanted to give you a quick update on the, um, the uh, health stuff, and then we'll talk about other things. So the first thing that most people are wondering is, did you hit the 30, 30 pounds off, right? Because I mentioned last time I was just shy of hitting the 30 pounds off by 1.2 pounds. I think it was something like that. Yeah, we hit the 30 pounds. <laughs> So yeah, uh, I am down to, what is it, uh, 238. Now you may wonder, well, how come it took you so long just to get one, one pound off? <laughs> one, I think 1.2 pounds. Why did it take so long? Well, I'll tell you, you know, <laughs> this week I've been eating some things that are not what I typically eat during the diet part of it. Um, I, uh, I went to Wendy's. If you didn't see that video, I released that uh, as a special video on Wednesday. So um, take a look at that video. It's where I actually had a lettuce-wrapped uh, Wendy's double cheeseburger. Now you think about stuff like this, you go, okay, that stuff's just gonna gain weight for you. That's true. <laughs> That's why we couldn't lose it fast enough. And then uh, I also made, uh, what did I make? I mean, I made some, uh, I made some pork butt, okay, which typically is what you use to make pulled pork with, but uh, I didn't do the pulled pork with it, I, I just, cut it and, and ate that. And then uh, I had some ribs. <laughs> yeah, I had the ribs in the last two days. Yeah, and I didn't use the smokers on that either. I just stuck it in the oven. So think about all of that that I ate, and I still lost the 1.2 pounds. So we hit the 30 pounds, but I think if I didn't do all that stuff, I probably would have been less, I, I would have been under 
the I would have been over to go. <laughs> I'm trying to think, is it over or is it under? I would have been more weight loss than 30. But because I did all those things, I only hit the 30. Yeah, so so yeah, we hit the goal. The goal was 30. Now, people have said, don't stop at 30. Keep going. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know. But the, the original goal, you have to have a goal, right? So the original goal was to hit the 30 pounds and then keep going and keep losing some more. Some people said you could lose another 30. Yeah, I know I could afford to lose another 30. Whether I could actually hit another 30 is another question, right? Because it gets tougher and tougher because after you lose 30 pounds, you know, losing another 30 pounds is kind of tough to do. Now, I mentioned too that if I lose the other 30 pounds, I would be about the weight that I was when I got married. Actually, I calculated it out. Um, sorry, I got an itch. Uh, if I lose another 30, I would be under the weight I was when I got married uh, back in 1985. So thinking back about it, I kept thinking, what? how much did I weigh then? Um, I believe it was like 219, 218 or 219 pounds when I got married. So if I, if I lose, all I need to do is really lose another 20 pounds and I'll be at the weight that I was when I got married. All right. Now, <clears throat> another milestone we said is that I had been going up and down with a 50 pound weight loss. You know, when I first lost weight uh, from my all time high, all time high was like 289. Uh, I dropped about 50 pounds. Yeah. Then it went back up. <laughs> Never went all the way back up to 289, but it was always around a 260, 270, something like that. Um, I went back up and then I went back on a diet again. Okay. And I dropped some weight again from that point. So uh, if you think about it, um, if I lost another 50 pounds, uh, roughly, then it would be actually under what the 50 pounds was on the other time. So I started looking on Facebook and I, I looked at some of the old groups that I had created for my photography students because they all knew I was going on a diet. And uh, some of the uh, photography students were trying to join with me to try to lose some weight. So we had a group, and apparently that group is still there because, I mean, nobody's ever posted on it in a long time. It's usually me that posted on, on the thing. But uh, this is years and years ago, okay? So I'm looking at it. There's like 30-something people still on that group. I mean, I think people join groups and they forget to take themselves off of it. <laughs> so I was tempted to put a, a, a note on there um, to see if any of people would respond. I'm sure they would. Um, but... <clears throat> Either way, um, I took a look at the weight loss. It was 57 pounds. So, so really, uh, my all-time high of losing weight was actually 57 pounds down at one time. So even though I have now hit my 50-pound weight loss goal, along with the 30-pound weight loss goal, um, I'm not at the all-time amount of loss. I've got another seven pounds to go just to say that I hit the same amount of weight loss that I did at one time before. <laughs> so the new goal at this point is to beat that seven pounds. So I got at least another seven pounds to go to at least to be able to say I hit the all-time highest amount of weight loss I've ever done. So there you go. Now, Continuing on with the same thing about weight loss and how this has affected me. I wanted to tell you a little bit about that. Um, people have asked me if I feel any different having lost the weight. Yeah, you definitely feel different. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I mentioned that you know, my clothes fit differently now. Uh, most of my clothes kind of hang on me at this point. And uh, so I've gone to even the pants that I used to wear when I lost the 50 and 57 pounds before. So I am able to fit in the clothes that I wasn't able to fit in before. Now, I have not tried on my suits, but I will tell you this. I have two suits that I bought during that time period. The first suit I bought was my, uh, my nephew uh, on my wife's side uh, had gotten married, and I needed a new suit because I had lost weight, and the old suits would just hang on me. So I went in there, bought a new suit. Then later, I, w I lost even more weight and probably had to go to a funeral or something like that, I think. Um, so I bought another suit, <laughs> uh, which fit me better. And of course, neither one of them fit well after I gained the weight back. Um, I've been wearing the one that I, I, um, that I wore for my nephew's, um, uh, wedding, but I haven't tried yet the, the suit on for the one that I bought after that. So I'm not sure if I can fit that yet or not, but I'm, I'm kind of guessing I would because I'm fitting all the other clothes. 
So I don't know about you guys, but I don't buy suits all that often, right? I mean, if, if I was still in the business world, I would be wearing suits and the like, but I'm not. Um, uh, even when I had my, my photography school when I was teaching, I kind of wore the same things like this, okay? It was usually a black, um, black uh, what, you, what would you like to call this? Polo shirt, tennis shirts, golf shirts? What do you want to call it? <laughs> Whatever you call it. Uh, and my wife had embroidered the company name on um, on the upper chest part on the left hand side of my shirts, so it was kind of like a uniform for me. I usually wore my black jeans as I usually do, and then I had the black shirt on with the logo. Okay, eventually those shirts started to wear out, and I just retired them. And um, so I don't usually buy suits. The only time I wear a suit now is if it's something like a funeral or a wedding or something like that, then I'll wear a suit. So I usually, again, I usually wear dark suits. So um, I think both of these last suits were both black suits. So now concerning the things that I wear, as you know, I usually wear a black shirt <laughs> and it's usually this type of shirt. It may not be from the same brand, but it's the same type of shirt, right? I literally have tens and tens of these. Uh, I think at one time I had over 30 to 35 of these shirts. <laughs> All right. Um, but you know, as they wear out, I, I retire them and then I move on to the next one. So, and then as those wear out, I just buy more of these black shirts. First off, they're not expensive. Um, I think most of these shirts are usually, uh, I think the lowest we ever got them for was like $8 each, something like that. And I'd buy like 30 at a time. <laughs> I mean, I'm not kidding. I have a ton of these shirts. And then um, and these recent ones here I bought on Amazon. These are thinner than the other shirts, but um, they're blacker, if that makes any sense. They, they seem to be darker because as you wash them, they tend to kind of wear out looking. But these, these seem to be okay, but they're thinner. Okay, so anyway, uh, yeah, that's why every time you see me, I'm always in a black shirt because I have a lot of them. Yeah, when I say a lot, I'm not kidding. I have a lot of them. If you look in my closet, all you see is black shirts. Now, here's an interesting thing. There's a YouTuber that I watch. His name is Danny the Medic. I don't know if you guys seen him or not, but I get a lot of these food review type uh, videos pop up because, you know, I usually watch food reviews while I'm on the diet. Now, that's the thing we want to talk about today, okay? People have asked, uh, why do you keep watching these food review things? I says, because I can't eat it. <laughs> Because I can't eat it, I like watching somebody else eat it. <laughs> so I watch a lot of these Vegas food reviews. You know, they'll go to all the buffets and things like that. And others have said, you know, that's just going to make you want to eat something. I go, yeah, um, for some people, yeah. But for me, I get just as much satisfaction watching somebody else eat it. <laughs> it's kind of weird, I know. Um, but and, and these people make money just sitting there eating food. And reviewing the food. So anyways, there's this guy named Danny the Medic, all right? He's a Chinese guy. He was born in New York, and uh, he, he was from the New York Chinatown area. So I watch him because I think he's funny. <laughs> uh, because some of the things that he does, I'm, I'm thinking, well, he doesn't have any class, man. <laughs> he's like, why does he do what he does? But that's what makes him funny. I think he knows that, and that's why he does what he does, okay? But uh, he showed recently a video of his apartment. He recently moved from New York to Las Vegas because all of his content is in, in Vegas now. And uh, he's showing his apartment, and I'm looking at his wardrobe, which is basically just on a rack, all right? I mean, his apartment, I think he said it was something like, what was it, like 180 square feet? Something like that. I mean, you're talking a one-room apartment that has everything in that one room. I'm not kidding. I mean... The shower is right next to his bed, right? The toilet is right next to the shower, and both of these things are wide open in the room, all right? There's no doors for this thing, so if, if you have a guest over and they needed a washroom, well, yeah, they're going to have to go without closing any door because there is no door. It's in the same room that you are in, all right? It's the weirdest looking apartment I've ever seen, but on this rack that he bought to put his clothes on, there's all these black shirts. I'm sorry, blue shirts. Okay, I'm thinking of my own. They're all blue shirts. They're kind of like this, okay? They're kind of like uh, polo shirts. They're all blue, and his pants are all tan. <laughs> so he has a uniform too. I'm thinking, I'm not the only guy. But here's the thing. They're both Chinese guys. <laughs> it's me and him. 
So he wears the same things. I wear the same things. We have kind of like a uniform. He always wears a hat too, if you ever watch his channel. Danny the Medic. I think it's called Food and Travel um, by Danny the Medic or with Danny the Medic. Something like that. If you type that in, you'll find him, okay? <laughs> so anyways, if you watch one of his most recent videos, you'll see that. And it, it, it got to me because I was thinking... I'm not the only guy that wears the same stuff over and over and over. He does too. But again, it's not like we don't wash our clothes because he's got a lot of little shirts and pants too. So we're, we're kind of the same in that, in that regard. Okay. Now, what we do might be totally different things. But again, um, I'm not the only one wearing the same clothes. Not the same clothes. <laughs> same colored clothes because <laughs> we have a lot of the same thing. All right. What else are we going to talk about today? Well, there's not a whole lot. I, I really was thinking about, you know, what is what is the most interesting things to talk about on uh, Anything Goes Monday. And, and really, I, I am noticing that less and less people are watching on Mondays. So it's really just a handful of you guys that continue with me. I appreciate that. All right. So um, anyway, let's talk a little bit about weather. All right. Now, the weather has been really strange these past few weeks. Um, you know, uh, in, in February, we had decent weather. I was able to go out a couple of times. I couldn't go real far. I stayed in the local area, uh, but I was able to ride my bike, but not enough time for me to be able to do stuff like reviews. And, and at that time, the, the, the bikes haven't come in yet. So now they've all come in, and then it's, it's raining and snowing. <laughs> yeah, I'm not kidding. We had snow several days. Well... Not enough to really stick. I mean, one time it did. It stuck to the ground, and of course, then it melts, and then it rains. Then we had a little bit of flurries, but that wasn't enough to stick to the ground. So, But still, it's cold enough that I don't want to go out, and it's wet enough I don't want to get the bikes all wet, especially if they're brand new bikes. I don't want to splatter brand new bikes, right? So we've all been sitting around waiting for weather, and... Um, this time, I think uh, we should start getting better weather because, I mean, here it is already April and, um, you know, if we're, if we're going to still be snowing and things, I, I, it's, just, it's just nuts. I don't know why. This is just, this is just the, uh, the <laughs> it's not just us. I mean, other parts of the country is also, are also getting uh, weather that's a little strange. So a couple of you guys sometimes will, will uh, send me messages and say that, you know, here's my weather in my area. So it's not, it's not just me. Other people in the U.S. have had issues with weather as well. So, um, yeah, I, I think um, that, was, that is what holds me back during this time period usually is weather. And as you know, I'm just sitting here waiting and waiting to get out the door. Now, people ask me too, why did you go out and get something to eat from Wendy's? Well, I get tired. <laughs> when you're eating the same things over and over, you kind of get tired of it. And that's why I bought some pork butt and I, I cooked it all up. I actually ate the whole thing myself. <laughs> I'm not kidding. It took me several days, but I did. And then I went and bought some uh, uh, baby back ribs, which is pork again. And I ate that all too. So if you think about it, I ate a lot of stuff that I probably shouldn't have eaten, but it was good to eat it. <laughs> it was, you know, just to get out of the salad and chicken only. Oh, somebody had asked me, why did you keep doing chicken? Well, first off, Chicken, I, when I lost my 50-something pounds, all I ever did was eat chicken. I didn't eat salads at that time. I just ate, literally just ate chicken. So you could lose weight if you eat chicken. I mean, you could eat a ton of chicken and lose weight because, first off, um, there's no carbs in the chicken, <laughs> all right? I cook it very, uh, well, most people would say you cook it very bland, and that was the whole point. You know, I don't want to load it up with stuff which, you know, would just make you gain weight, and so... Uh, I've got an itch again. Uh, so, yeah, I could literally eat... I could literally eat anywhere from five or six pieces of chicken in a day or more and still lose weight. That's why I eat chicken, right? <laughs> Plus, the second thing is chicken is cheap. <laughs> I told you guys, Russ is cheap, right? It doesn't cost you that much. I mean, chicken... Uh, at the time when I was losing weight, it was between 39 cents to 49 cents a pound. Try doing that with steak. <laughs> You're never going to get it. So it's just cheap. It loses you weight if you don't eat anything else. Um, the whole thing is it's, it's, it was basically the Atkins diet is what I was doing, where, uh, where all you ate was low-carb, I mean, 
keeping your carbs under 15 grams or something like that per day. Well, you eat chicken and you don't eat anything else, your, your carbs is zero. <laughs> so you go into ketosis. I mean, this whole thing when people talk about keto and the like, you know, that, that's, that was kind of the same thing that they were doing with the Atkins diet, is that you were losing weight because you're in ketosis. And so what happens is your body starts burning up the fat instead. And of course, chicken's uh, calorie content is really not that high. So you can eat all this chicken and really stay under a certain calorie count. Now, when I lost the weight before, I, um, I tried my best to stay under, I think I put my, my calorie count to about 1,600 to 1,800 max per day. Now, based on a guy my size, my height, <laughs> and my, my weight, that's not actually good. I mean, um, it's lower intake than what you're burning off. I mean, I didn't do exercise and stuff. I just kind of existed. I, I, I went to my school, taught my classes, and then came back, and I was losing weight from that and, and really not exercising at all. So that's why I eat chicken is because I know it's a proven thing and it works, all right? Because if you... If you take in less calories than you burn off, because you're going to burn off more than 1,800 cal calories just existing, okay, without even exercising, um, you're going to burn off the fat. And that's exactly what happened. Now, today, I, I don't look at the calories so much. I look at the, uh, the sugars and the, and the carbs because I'm more concerned now about keeping the... Uh, the um, the diabetes in check versus losing the weight. But I figured if I'm going to eliminate the sugars and eliminate the carbs, I might as well try to lose the weight at the same time because losing the weight will help me in the, uh, in the overall thing with the diabetes. So I figured the best way to do this was go back to eating chicken, but also eating salads and, and vegetables, right? So, but I'm not looking at the calorie count. Now, if I was sitting there looking at the calorie count based on those things, because vegetables have carbs, some of the vegetables do. Um, I'm not looking so much in terms of, of uh, the calories. I'm looking at the carb content and the sugar contents. That's what I'm more concerned with. Now, if I went back and looked at both things, the sugars, the carbs, uh, all three things, um, the sugars, the carbs, and the calories, then I would be dropping like crazy, <laughs> all right? I want, you know, the thing is, I don't want to lose weight, um, like a crash loss of weight. As you notice, the, the weight has been slowly going away, but very slow, right? A pound here, a two pounds there. Sometimes it just sits there. I mean, we went through a, a several weeks of where nothing was happening because you tend to plateau anyways, and then you drop again. Um, I'm not losing lots and lots of weight. Now, some people who take uh, diabetic medication, like Ozempic or something like that, will lose weight because of the Ozempic. Now, we all know about the Ozempic thing being uh, something that people use as a diet uh, a method, right? Well, the metformin that I'm taking, my understanding is that has nothing to do with dieting. I mean, even if you take it for your, your uh, diabetes, you don't lose weight on metformin, okay? So you have to try to lose weight your own natural way. And that's why it's taking longer. Now, if I had taken that other stuff, the ribelsis, that is essentially Ozempic, but in pill form, okay? I didn't know any of this stuff when they were recommending it to me. And I think maybe the nurse practitioner that I had recommended this because first off, my A1Cs was sky high. It was like 13.2. 13.2 is like you're about ready to die from this stuff, okay? Because most people, if they're over like seven uh, on their number, it's, it, they're like, oh, oh no, I got to do something. Well, I was 13.2. <laughs> so she wanted to get it under control quickly. Plus, I was overweight, so I'm sure she probably said, well, he probably could benefit from losing the weight and the right belts might be the way to do it. I mean, that's that's one way of doing it. Or she could have just said, give them uh, Ozempic. Now, insurance company didn't want to pay for this because this stuff is really expensive stuff, okay? <laughs> Either one of those things are very expensive. So um, I wasn't proven as a diabetic yet, other than the fact that, you know, my number was really high. They, they want to see more proof that you definitely need it before they start spending, you know, over a thousand something dollars for this uh, medication. I think it's over... What was that? That was over a thousand. Was it like twelve or thirteen hundred dollars or something like that for a month? I mean, <laughs> that that's over the counter pricing. All right. I mean, if you didn't have insurance, that's what they would charge you. But 
you know, they get a deal, you know, the insurance companies get a deal from the companies if they, if they pay it, but they don't want to pay that, you know, no matter what it is, you know, even if it's less, it's still a lot of money. So they, they said, no, I'm glad they said no. Okay. So they put me on metformin, which is very inexpensive medication. It's been around for years, but it doesn't help your diet. All right. So all of this, uh, 30 pounds of loss came from me making the effort to try to lose the weight. It wasn't because of drugs that made me lose the weight. Now, the good part about this is that uh, if you go off of the Ozempic, if you go off of the right belsis, if you stop that for whatever reason, uh, you tend to gain the weight back. That, that's what I hear. So uh, you'd have to take it forever if you want to keep your weight off. I don't want to do that, okay? So what I'm, the way I'm losing it now, hopefully I, I keep it off. Now, if you go back to eating the way you used to, you're going to gain it again. But as we know, I can't do that anymore because of the, the diabetes. So in a sense, the diabetes was a blessing in disguise. It was a way to get me to start losing the weight and to start eating better rather than eating um, you know, whatever I felt like eating. And, and that's what spiked my A1Cs because uh, you know, it was during the holiday time period. I was eating everything and uh, drinking fruit punch and all that stuff. You know, There's lots of sugars. That just spiked it. <laughs> so... Anyways, I just want to give you an update as to how the weight loss journey has been going and how I've been doing it and why I'm losing only a few pounds every now and then <laughs> and why I'm not dropping as fast as I should. Um, yeah, you, you can't do it forever. You're going to have to like take, it, take a break a little bit and then go back to your way of eating, right? So my break was uh, I, I, I ate a bunch of pork stuff. Not good for you, but it's cheaper than steak. <laughs> Yeah, Russ is cheap, I told you. <laughs> Anyways, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Keep watching on Mondays if you want to find out some other things. We'll talk about other things more, but um, since we hit the milestone, I, I figured today we should be talking about the diet. Watch on Tuesday, Thursday, and uh, Saturdays for e-bike videos. Now, this coming Tuesday, which will probably be tomorrow after you see this one, I may or may not have a video, and the reason is because I'll be working on those reviews, and then I gotta edit them. So I don't know whether I'll have enough time to actually have everything reviewed and done and, and edited and ready for a Tuesday video, but definitely by Thursday, we will have some videos coming out with uh, e-bike reviews. And hopefully I can get enough done before the weather starts to turn on me <laughs> that I can get uh, several reviews done before these other bikes and things start coming in. All right, that's about all we have for today. Thank you for hanging out to the tail end of this. I'll talk to you guys next time.